what's up? What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the show. I am your host, Robin Dory, and here on Channel Red Breast, we talk about two things and two things specifically hip hop music and sneakers. That's right, shoes. So without further ado, do let's get busy. <laughs> the artist I have picked today to feature on the show is Toby Nawigwe. He is from Houston, Texas. And what are we working with off of this album? We are working with a song called Father Figure. It features Royce the Five Nine and Black Thought. And as a matter of fact, I believe it was the last episode, I'm not sure. I mentioned top five people, top five rappers dead or alive, and a lot of people don't put certain dudes on lists. And Guru was one of them, and Black Thought was another one of them. I just thought I'd mention that. What are we doing today? Artist, Toby Nwigwe, song, Father Figure, album, Sync Originals. Format, YouTube. Let's get busy. Wow. I mean, shh. <sighs> you know, I might think one of the best feelings in the world is when you hear a song or an artist for the first time and your ears just do the... It's that tingle down your spine. It's like, oh. What the hell am I talking about? Anyways, we are going to rate this song. I mean, I'm not sure why we're rating this song. It's perfect. Song's perfect. The album, Sync Originals, perfect. So we could just give it a perfect rating, but that's not really what we do here. We just do random emoji ratings. So I give this three headphone emojis. This song gets three headphone emojis. One for Black Thought, one for Royce the 5'9", and one for Toby Bryant, Toby Nwigwe, his damn self. Now that we've taken care of that, let's go check out some shoes. I mean, I'm Woody Harrelson in his bitch. Everybody's gotta check and make sure that they ain't slipping what you got on your own feet. Take a look down, make sure you ain't slipping, make sure you ain't tripping, make sure everything good. Look at your feet, make sure it's good. All right. Okay, it's shoe time, guys. And the crazy thing is, is I'm pretty sure these were bricks slash slept on shoes. I don't know why, but none of that really matters. We're gonna check them out. Today we are dealing with the Air Jordan 5 Black Satin Breads. Let's do that there. Let's take a look at that deal. I was so happy when I got these. Oh, oh god damn. Wee! Look at that deal. Look at that gosh darn shoe. Folks, that is the Black Satin Air Jordan 5 bread. Wow. Yeah. All right, well, look at these. We got the 3M tongue, as shiny as that's ever been. We've got the uh, red and icy grill bottom sole. 3M underneath the mesh. See-through plastic mesh, red jump man. Black laces. These get the oh boys and the oh ways. Jump man on the back. Black speckle, actually. Let's take a close look at that. You get the black speckle. Let's take a closer look at these bad boys. This is the black satin bread. It dropped in 2018. It is a lovely addition, in my opinion. A lot of people hated on these, as I referred in the intro. People were kind of not checking for these and then they got overpriced and oversold but I don't care I'm happy that I got them 
Now, these feature a shiny black satin along all of the upper with a translucent see-through mesh on the side. 3M tongue, shiny and bright as always with the red jump man. Midsole has red with black shark teeth. We all know about the shark teeth on the fives, Tinker Hatfield and the legendary air bubbles on the design of these shoes. The icy grill on the bottom, as always, we gots to pop that off. The Air Jordan 5 dropped in 1990, originally. It came out in a few different colorways. The original colorways of the Jordan 5 were the black metallics, the fire reds, fire red with the 23 on the side and the black tongue, and the grapes. <sighs> Air Jordan 5, Black Satin Breads. Does anybody remember that Sports Illustrated cover where it was like the 38 special, give me your shoes of your life? Well, anyways, what am I even talking about there? What are we gonna rate these? Well, first of all, let me give you the price. They dropped at $220. I paid resale for them, too much. I'm saying this too often, but I wanted them. I paid like $400 for them, and I just looked up on StockX and GOAT and all that, and it's like still around $400. You can find some pairs for $350 now, so you might get a little bit of a better deal. The point is, is they all go up, and so try to get them retail. But if you can't and you really want them, you can still get them. So that's cool about StockX and GOAT. I got these ones off StockX. I am not sponsored by StockX. It would be lovely if I was, but I am not. Anyways, what are we gonna rate these bad boys? Two black cats. These get two black cats out of a possible two black cats. Do I recommend you check out Toby Nwigwe, AKA Toby Bryant? Yes, I highly recommend that you do. Do I recommend you get yourself some Air Jordan 5 black satin breads? I'm gonna say like I've said before, if you're me, sure, yeah, I would highly recommend that, but you're you, so it's what you think. If you like these, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. I believe that's the final word. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That does do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank each and every single one of you Spoodle and Doodles for coming by and spending time with yours truly, here on Channel Red Breast. If you enjoyed the content in today's video, please do me a favor and do that there. It really helps the channel. And do that there. Also, I know you guys got your own opinions on the songs and shoes that I choose to review, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Toby Nui. Your favorite way. Jordan 5. I know a lot of people hate it on the Jordan uh, satin breads, but hey, man, whatever's clever. Whatever's yeah, and until next time, folks, Patrick Swayze, Christian Slater. Nailed it. <laughs>